I'm not compromising God's moral and civil law when it comes to winning a brother or sister to Christ, to win their favor. Step four, or point four, uh, the Apostle Paul shows us how to win the heart, to win the favor of those brothers and sisters who may exercise, who are carnal Christians, whose faith is weak. And so, those who have a carnal faith or a weak faith, we act as though our faith is weak. Because our faith is weak in some sense. In other words, being humble, honest, straightforward, and not exercising one-upmanship over them so that we can win them completely, win their favor, mind, body, and soul so their faith will become strong. In matters that are indifferent, which may be done or not done with a good conscience, it is as if he said, I accommodated all customs, manners, that by all means I might save some. Point. And the Apostle Paul tells the, tells the Corinthians church that the reason he does this is to win the favor of those lost sheep of the world to bring them to Christ Jesus. And we must be willing to do the same. Christians stay away from eating unclean food such as pork, shellfish, and so forth. But at the same time, there are other people out there who eat pork, even brothers and sisters that eat pork, and for the sakes of witnessing to them, we eat pork for that purpose, to reach them, to stay away from, we're supposed to stay away from scavenger food, but when it comes to reaching people with the gospel, those with weak faith, or whoever, we eat scavenger food to reach people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. That both I and those whom I preach the gospel may receive fruit by the gospel. So, God wants you to make a New Year's resolution for 2014 to, re to reconnect with your family 
and win their favor and take interest in their life for Christmas 2014. In addition, show them you love them as the good book tells us. Maybe they are a family friend or a cousin or a brother or a sister or so forth. try to connect with maybe some of your old friends and take an interest in their life and by doing so win them over over to Christ or reaching a lost cousin, maybe a cousin that you don't even pay attention to, or a second cousin, or a third cousin that you don't even pay attention to, most Christmases and most Thanksgiving, maybe they're just young kids, make a note and a commitment to win their favor, to reconnect, and take an interest in their life and win their favor by following these five points then eventually presenting them a formal presentation of the gospel of Jesus Christ take it slow take it take the pace as God calls you to. Don't jump into it too fast, but do it very carefully and slowly. There are many lost sheep of the house of Israel, house of Judah, and the Gentiles who basically belong to God but they are lost and God wants you to gather them back and bring them back into his flock take it slowly and take it carefully maybe it will take five maybe it will take ten maybe it will take twenty years who knows some faster than others, some longer than others. This is the direction that I believe that God is drawing and calling us to for 2014. And this does not necessarily apply to Christmas time, Thanksgiving, Easter. But it could be those fellow brothers and sisters in your church to meet in public. Long lost relatives, aunts, uncles, who knows? Don't know where they're at, find them. Take an interest and win their favor. Following the five points that we've learned in this in these verses today. Wasn't it thirteen? It was restoration and renewal. Two thousand and fourteen. It is God is calling us to win the favor. of those lost people of the house of Israel, Judah, and the Gentiles, those relatives, those family members, cousins, aunts, aunts, whatever, in your church, following these five points, 
to win their favor, to bring them back to the fold of Christ. Glory, hallelujah. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask you to hide these words in our hearts and minds. We ask in Christ Jesus' name, through the power of the Holy Spirit, and empower us to put into practice these truths in Christ Jesus' name. We ask and pray through the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. God bless you until next time.